Hi, I'm Tom Salta. I'd like to show you something absolutely amazing that you can do with AutoBounce. Not only can it run stems and mixes, but it can also run complete multi-tracks. While working on AutoBounce, I had this realization that I could actually go back and finally archive older projects that I have in Logic before the plugins and sample libraries and operating systems are no longer compatible. And who among us actually takes the time to do that? I know I'm guilty of not doing it, and it's one of the few regrets that I have. There are so many amazing albums and scores that I can't load up anymore in Logic. All I have is what I exported when I did it, which is typically, if I'm lucky, stems and definitely mixes and alt mixes. But wouldn't it be amazing if I could archive forever full processed multi-tracks of every single element? I mean, this is the way it used to be when we were recording on multi-track tape. You know, everything was already separated on different tracks and I just load the tape. But now you can't even get the tape players. And when I switch to digital audio workstations, you know, I would cut corners, I'd finish the project and then, you know, hope that I never have to kind of come back and load it up again. Well, that day is finally over and it's really exciting for me to kind of go back and load up every single Logic project that I can and use AutoBounce to archive them. Let me show you how easy it is to do. Okay, you are now looking at the Logic project for my main theme to the video game Deathloop. And what I'm gonna do right now is archive this project for you track by track automatically with AutoBounce. And let me just show you how quickly I can do this. Um, first of all, uh, one thing that I wanna make a decision on immediately is which, if any, tracks to combine. Generally, for a multi-track, I don't wanna combine any more than I need to. Uh, but in the case of these drums, there is um, a heavy compressor that is affecting the entire drum kit. And there's really no need for me to ever, ever want to swap out a drum sound for a different one or have full volume control. Right, because the hat, you can see how loud the hat is. And if I were to just, you know, bounce that out separately, that would mess up the mix. It would never actually sound the way it did originally. So in this case, I'm going to want to combine those in a track stack, which I already have set up for running stems anyway, and everything else I want to leave expanded. All right, so that means every region you see here on the screen, every track is going to be its own audio file, okay? So not stems, but actual multi-tracks. Some people might call them stripes. All right. It's all there. The vocals. The amazing Airly Brighton. And I want to have full control over that and be able to call that back in 20 years and have it as a complete multi-track. That'll work in any DAW. How amazing is this? So, for the sake of this demo, I'm going to only focus on this area here because it'll speed up the bouncing, obviously. All right, now you also notice that I happen to have some empty tracks. So what I want to do to speed things up even more with auto bounce is I'm gonna use this handy dandy feature here called select unused tracks. And if I hide those tracks like this, you'll see what happens in auto bounce. Let me run it now. All right, so now I'm launching Auto Bounce, and the first thing it will ask you to do is scan your Logic project. So you just hit scan and let it do its thing. Auto Bounce is done, and you can see that the full track list is here, mirroring the same track list in Logic. And all you are seeing are the tracks that have content on it. So every little checkbox is a track that has content on it. How is that happening? Because Auto Bounce intelligently will filter out hidden tracks. You don't have to have that. You can actually have them visible like this and I can include hidden tracks, but I don't want to because I only selected empty tracks and made those hidden. So that's a little shortcut for you. All I need to do now to run a complete multi-track is hit select all. I'm gonna name my folder and just call it DL multi-track 
test. All right. And I'm ready to go. Now, wait. Do I want to include the master bus effects or do I want to have them unmastered? Good question. Hey, with auto bounce, you can do both. So right now, this is just going to bounce it through the same master output effects that I have on everything. But, you know, that might not be a good idea for some people. I'm not really sure. I want to have options. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to run a duplicate set of stems. This one I'm going to say unmastered. And in order to do that, I'm going to click this little button showing me the master out effect inserts. Now I have my choice to turn them on or off in any combination. I can, I can create a separate set of stems or anything with each of these. All right. But in this case, I want to keep, hmm, I want to keep that and turn the other ones off. And that's it. Now, the last thing I want to do is I want to make sure that each of those tracks are ordered in the same order as I have them in the logic project. Okay? I don't want it being sorted by, you know, alphabetical and then I don't know the way I have my tracks laid out because I, I do like to have certain things at the top, certain things in the bottom, etc. So the easiest way to do that is to use the handy dandy naming convention editor. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to create a sequence number. So this is just going to put one, two, three, four, and just do them all in order for every single bounce. And I'm just going to keep an underscore in between them. All right, I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm just going to do the sequence number. And that's all it takes to set this up and be able to press bounce and walk away from your machine. You ready? See you later. And we're back. Auto bounce is done. Let's take a look at what it did. You click show in the finder. And here we go. We have two folders named exactly as the jobs are named. This one is the main multi track here. Got the drums. <laughs> right right down the list and then here is the same set done again sequentially numbered but unmastered and you can hear the difference pretty incredible right i did not have to be here it gives me those options the computer is working for me and i get my life back that was a really quick simple example but you could take it even further Take a look here in Auto Bounce. Let's say I wanted to do, in addition to an unmastered, let's say I wanted to take this job and do a dry set of stems. It's as easy as this. I hit copy. Okay, I'll just say dry. Simply click allow aux muting so I can see all my aux effects and I can see which ones the, are the reverbs that I want to turn off to create dry. I can leave effects on like phaser because that's part of the sound, for example. But these are the reverbs. Turn that off. Done. That's it. All right. I could. And if I want to kind of keep working on this, um, do more tomorrow or I made a mistake or whatever, I don't have to set this all up again. I could just hit save. So I would just call this my, you know, death loop. Um, main theme, um, you know, multi. Boom. And then I can just recall that whole auto bounce file and uh, at any time if I wanted to redo something. That's how simple it is. And that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please be sure to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video.